Uh, Printing United, I'm here at the Epson booth walking around. Tim, I just, I've been seeing a lot of stuff you guys are doing. I want to talk to you about this machine here and what it does and the interesting stuff that I see coming out of it. What's so special about this machine and some of the stuff Epson's working on? Well, we're making some technology debuts of some new upcoming products and we're really excited here in our maker space with our new Make On Studio kind of campaign. So uh, what we're here doing here, right specifically right behind us, we're doing a technology demonstration of a product expansion. We have our, currently we have a, have a F-170, it's an eight and a half inch wide desktop die sublimation printer. And then over to my right, we have a 24 uh, inch uh, F-570 desktop sublimation printer. And this product right behind us, uh, it doesn't exist today, but we do have a um, technology debut of a 13 by 19 uh, desktop sublimation printer, basically a bigger brother to the uh, F-170 size printer. Um, so this type of printer, we're able to be able to print much larger size uh, prints to be able to do those type, kind of larger applications like full-size t-shirts, uh, be able to do much larger, um, instead of just the skinny 20-ounce tumblers, do those big larger 30 or 40-ounce big tumblers, uh, larger applications, uh, multi-up prints, things that customers have been asking for for quite some time to be able to do bigger applications. Uh, customers want to do more than an F-170, but they just aren't quite ready to jump all the way up to a much bigger roll feed system and uh, the 24-inch roll capability of that system. Um, there's an upcoming system here, hopefully towards the, maybe towards the fall of this coming year, uh, of an upcoming uh, 13 by 19 size printer. But the 570 is so cool and it looks like a spaceship sitting on your desk. It does, I know, I agree. Um, this one, it's uh, definitely a lot more compact and it, it's kind of neat. It's got a, uh, similar to like our F-170, it still has our, our sheet feeder so you can put in like your coffee mug paper uh, that's in there, really tiny papers to standard uh, normal sheet paper. But it has, even in the back, there's a large um, uh, sheet feeder. You can put all the way 13 by 19 size sheet or smaller size. And the printer will auto switch between them uh, to whatever type of, uh, uh, whatever your application is. So if you're printing coffee mugs and you have mug size paper in there and then you're doing t-shirts and you got larger uh, 11, 17 or 13, 19 size paper, boom, it will just come right back. It will just switch to between the two of them. So it's great for um, you know the makers, the people that are doing the side hustlers, the Etsy uh, owners, or even small businesses um, that are adding this, or even sign shops that want to add this to do promotional products. It's a great way to be able to bring in some good lucrative uh, opportunities um, with some neat things. So this is one of the things we're debuting here. That's what, that's what I wanted to get to here. But the, the point is a good mid-range option, not the F-170. Yeah. You don't have to make the commitment. Maybe you got commitment issues like me, yeah. and you, you're not ready to go 570. This is going to be the perfect just fit you right in there, and you've got something for everybody. So something new, if you're ready for me to jump. To I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm itching. Well, we like the ability to be able to do, um, you know, make some cool T-shirts uh, like this. One of the things that's really exciting that we're happy about is for so long, everybody was like, hey, that's great. You can do that uh, with sublimation, but, you know, you can only print on polyester. You can only sub to polyester coated materials. Well, we want to change that. So instead of saying, no, you can't do that, you can only do certain things, we want to change that for a second and take a feel on this material. That feels almost like cotton or something. Yeah, it is. So what we're doing instead here, this is 100% cotton t-shirt. So we are sublimating onto 100% cotton material um, and be able to get a good hand feel on this garment. And what's really exciting about this is two things. There's nothing different with the printer. There's nothing different with the ink, the paper, the print process at all. All that's different to this is we're using, uh, Epson has upcoming along with this printer, is we're bringing out a new sublimation primer for cotton. So it's a liquid. Uh, we spray this onto a cotton garment or any natural fabrics like hemp, bamboo, t-shirts, uh, or any uh, canvas tote bags. Uh, we can apply that to it. We use a heat press to secure that on. And from there, we go about our normal sublimation process where we can take our normal print and sublimate it onto a natural fabrics um, where we have good, fast, long durability um, uh, wash fastness with that, where a light, really light hand feel, uh, and you get some really vibrant images. And it's great because if you got one of these printers and you need a cotton t-shirt, you can go down to any, pretty much any store and find an a, a inexpensive t-shirt very easily. Trying to find polyester t-shirts, it's not as easy for, for a lot of small shops to be able to find those. And especially, uh, I have some small children trying to find a, a baby onesies and, and little body suits. Um, you know, people want natural cotton. They don't want to put uh, polyester on, on, on infants and uh, little ones. 
Um, cotton is, is the best, and these, this is a product from Epson. It's all, uh, we'll have all that o o Ecotex uh, child safety um, certification, nothing toxic to it. So this we're really excited about because it really opens the door to a lot of sublimation printers to be able to do a lot of light garment and a lot of light, uh, light colored um, natural fabric printing. It just opens it all up to a whole bunch of new things. So it's not just cotton? Not just cotton. Pretty much any natural fabric uh, that we can work with, um, you can be able to sublimate to. Now, it's still not, it's not dark garments, but it's, uh, but pretty much anything that's a uh, light color, we can still be able to, we can embellish and be able to put any type of color to it and have a really good durability, uh, long lasting, long lasting high quality prints to it. So some really fantastic stuff that Epson's playing around with trying to bring to the market, going to bring to the market. Epson always does great stuff. Well, you heard it from the man himself, Printing United. We're here with Epson. Thank you so much for the yeah, overview. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Thank you.